Hello everyone and in this video we will see what are Microsoft Power Platform Connectors which is a part of our free Microsoft Power Platform Tutorials for Beginners video course where we will learn about what is Microsoft Power Platform and its related component in each of these individual videos in nutshell. So as far as this video is concerned we will learn about what are Microsoft Power Platform Connectors. So ladies and gentlemen, my name is Abhishek Doria and you are watching Dynamics Academy YouTube channel. So let's get started. Subscribe to Dynamics Academy and press the bell icon on your YouTube app to never miss a video from Dynamics Academy. So let us now first of all understand what are Power Platform Connectors. So with the help of Power Platform Connectors, as the name suggests, you would be able to connect to over 200 plus other services to your common data service. So having said that, what is the basic meaning of connectors? Connectors are where you can connect from one service to another service. So with the help of using these connectors, you will be able to connect from your CDS, common data service, which is a part of your power platform to any of the external services which you can think of. So at this point in time, there are over 200 plus out of the box power platform connectors, which you can avail to your services from the day you log in and having said that let us now understand in technical terms what is connector a connector is a wrapper or a proxy around an api that interact between power automate or power apps and at the back data source and having said that again these power platform connectors are now categorized into two categories so there are two types of power platform connectors one are standard and other one is premium so as the name suggests that standard power platform connectors are readily available for you to start using from the day you subscribe to a power platform instance and you do not have to pay any additional licenses or additional cost to avail those connectors but while the premium connectors you may be charged some of the fees based on the connectors that somebody has built for you to use those connectors depending on the type of connectors you are using you may need to pay some of the charges and let's say if you do not find any specific connectors suiting your requirements or meeting your needs then you can always build a custom connectors which will enable you to communicate with services that do not have an out of the box connector and while building custom connectors you need to keep one thing in mind is that custom connectors change from being a standard feature to a premium feature from feb 1st 2019 so you need to think in that direction that if you are building or if you are using a custom connector then you might need to pay some additional cost associated to that custom connectors and lastly each of these connectors used in power platform consist of an operations called actions and triggers so there are basically two components associated to a power platform connector one is actions and triggers so actions are those what you want to perform what actions that you want to perform using that connectors and triggers are those as the name suggests on what trigger you want to perform the actions so having said that let us now understand a little bit detail about what is power platform connectors as data is the core of most of the applications including those you build in power apps data is stored in a data source and you bring the data into your app by creating a connection so these connections uses a specific connector to talk to that data source so this is how a basic underlying principle not only with uh, power platform connectors but any specific app in general that your data is stored somewhere and you are showing or you are displaying the data somewhere from your front-end application so you you need to build that connections between the data where it is stored and the data which where you want to show the and the place where you want to show this data so you need to establish that connection so that is what this power platform connectors do it for you Power Platform has connectors for many popular services and on-premises data sources including SharePoint, SQL Server, Office 365, Salesforce and Twitter. So if you want to dig deeper you can always refer to the documentation and if you want to get started then please refer to the documentation. The link you can find in the description box below. And connectors are essentially proxy wrappers around APIs provided by services that allows Power Automate, Power Apps and Logic Apps to easily interact with their service at the same time connectors can be either public or custom 
there are currently over 200 plus public connectors that can be used by all organizations examples of which are microsoft 365 common data service twitter dropbox and many more you can find the complete list on the official website the link of which is given in the description box below as said earlier connectors make triggers and actions available that can be used by the apps and flows triggers are used by flows or logic apps to start the execution of the workflow so these were in nutshell about what is microsoft power platform connectors what are its use cases and what are the different types of power platform connectors that you can avail for your service and what are the different factors that you need to consider while working with power platform connector in our next and last video of this series we will see what is microsoft ai builder so on that note i want to thank you for watching this video till the end and if you have still any doubts or queries or concerns then please feel free to put them in the comment box below and on that note i once again i thank you for watching this video till the end so if you have learned something new out of this video then please like share and subscribe to dynamics academy and also press the bell icon so that you will never miss any update whenever we release a new video to our dynamics academy youtube channel and on that note i end this video and take your leave hope to see you all in the next video till then bye bye and take care and once again thank you for your time